have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. What is up, everybody? It's Dre, EMIP, and I'm gonna do a yeah. open box installation uh. and a quick review of this battery grip yeah. for my D610 camera. Okay, this is the Zico's professional multi-power battery grip that I bought for the Nikon D610 camera. Now this is an off-brand battery grip. Now a lot of people is against off-brand battery grips or off-brand anything. And you know me, if you watch my channel, you know I love the off-brands because you save a lot of money and they do just, they do the same thing as, as the real brand. So anyway, let's just talk about this one. This is the Zico's uh, battery grip. And the reason why I bought this one because the Nikon brand is just too much. The Nikon brand is 200 plus. This brand, is $41. I bought this $41 off of Amazon. Now, I had success with previous battery grips. I bought a Mikey battery grip for my D7000. It's on my camera now. I had it for a couple years or, or whenever, and it's fine. I love it. It's great. So anyway, let's get to it. Let's open this thing up. I hope you could see. So some packing material. All right, this is the battery tray. Put that to the side. Instructions and the grip itself packed nicely. Feels good. Feels good weight. I like the way it feels coming out the box. Feels solid. All right, here it is. It's kind of protecting the elements. It it feels good. I'm looking at the rubber. The rubber grip from the Nikon is a little different. This one is less sheen on it, and this is kind of shiny a little bit. The pattern is about the same, but not quite. And this is a thing. A lot of people want, oh, I want it to match. I want it to look just like my camera. But you know what? Nobody's touching your camera. You're the photographer, right? Nobody's going to see the difference. Nobody's going to know but me. That's my little secret. Nobody even knows what a grip is but another photographer. So this is my point. I mean, if this thing works, go ahead and use it. Now, watch, watch me make a video in a couple of weeks and say, oh, this thing doesn't work. But hopefully, I don't, I don't do that. I hope... The reviews are good and I hoping to have success with this grip. So go ahead, let's go ahead and install it. I got a battery here. I already got a battery in here. This thing takes this battery. This is what the ENL 15 battery or whatever. So it takes two batteries. Well, the one in the camera and then an additional battery. So you have that much more battery power. So I'm going to go ahead and install this one in here. And that's it. It's that simple. This slides in here. Well, this is actually another tray that it comes with. And this one is if you want to put like uh, AA batteries in there. So you don't have to use the, uh, the, the Nikon uh, battery. You can use AA batteries to simply charge this up. But we're going to head, gonna go ahead and use this. You get much more of a long charge with this one. So I'm going to install it. Okay, I'm going to take off the, uh, the electronics right there. And to do that, now I gotta take off this rubber grip right here. And that's what that's for if you install a battery grip. And it's a good idea not to lose that piece. I'm gonna go ahead and pack this piece in this box so I know where it is if I ever take the grip off. So I'm gonna screw it on. A little trouble. I'm screwing on now. Got to itch my head. Sorry about that. All right, it's on tight. It's not loose. Let me see if you can see that. It, you know, it looks like it fits well. It looks like it's part of the camera. Here it's a little different. You know, it's kind of lippy here. But, you know, when it gets to right here, it's kind of smooth. It's kind of tight. Everything looks good here, but here, this area right here doesn't look like it's kind of fitting aesthetically, but I'm good with that because I'm the photographer. Nobody holds my camera. See that? You can't tell. You can't tell. Anyway, let me go ahead and try to take a picture of it with it. All right, camera still works. Now I'm going to try this button right here. Let me see. Okay, I had to unlock it. Okay, that button works as well. All right, so I can move my focus points. So right there, you could 
you know, move your focus point. It's your little D dial, D pad, and similar to this D pad right there. So that works well. And I also got the exposure lock right there, that button. So, and that works too. So anyway, that's it. That's as simple as that. It's easy to install. It feels good. I can hold the camera this way, hold it this way. It adds weight to my camera, makes it look nice and beefy, you know, so I like that. So this is the Z Coast Professional Multi-Power Battery Grip. I got it for $41 off of Amazon. The real Nikon battery grip costs 200 plus. I don't know exactly. I'm going to say it's about 225, 250. Um, I know a used one on Amazon is somewhere around 150. So anyway, that's it. That's the review. Um, go ahead and get a battery grip from your camera. It makes it really look good, especially if you have one of those smaller cameras. Maybe if you got the D3200, I think that takes battery grips, or the D5200 or something like that. It makes it really look good. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. The Zico's battery grip. If you want to see more reviews like this, please subscribe and you'll know when I make something like this because it'll come right to your feed. I don't do many reviews, but I do reviews on stuff I have. I'll even do a review on toasters and things like that, especially if I can't find one on YouTube and I'm trying to check something out. Anyway, that's what my channel is all about. Um, I kind of like to get you to save money, try to get you out of the belief that you have to go name brand and name brand everything. Now, yes, I could have bad luck with this, but you know what? You can have bad luck with that Nikon grip as well, or any other professional, or to say, any other name brand type equipment. So anyway, thanks for watching this video again. Subscribe, like, comment. Tell me, do you use a battery grip? Do you have this grip? Do you have the Mikey grip or Velo grip or Vivitar grip? They got all kinds of grips out there. Tell me what you use for your camera if you use a grip. Are you gonna consider a grip like this? Um, do you use off-brand equipment? Let me know in the comments down below. Please thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that. Because I'm Dre and thanks for watching EMI PTV. I'm out. Eh, eh. Well, maybe I gotta turn it on. Or maybe I gotta take the lens cap off. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I'm back. I like to do an add on review with the uh, shutter and aperture wheels on the grip. Uh, when I notice when I turn them, it is kind of loud. The, the wheels actually feel loose, but good. It's a good, easy feeling, easy to turn to set your aperture or shutter on them, but it's just loud. It kind of feels like a kid's toy, like you're cranking up a kid's toy or something. Hear that? Now watch, I'll turn the normal camera wheels. You really can't hear this. This feels good as well, a little tighter, because this is more loose. Then you hear that? So there's the difference. Um, they do work. It, it works well. This, it works as it should. Now, I don't normally use these wheels right here because that's why I actually forgot to include them on the video. I always compose my shot this way in landscape mode, and then I flip the portrait and then shoot this way. So um, anyway, that's the add-on. Thanks for watching.